Hi everyone, it's Tech Dad. Today's video is a very cool DIY project. You see this tube here? Okay, Google, turn the light on. Okay, turning on the LED. Okay, Google, change the color to blue. Okay, changing the LED to blue. So I can control this DIY LED tube with Google or Alexa, so with a smart assistant. I can also control it with an app on my iPad. For example, I can do some color flux. So in a lot of YouTube uh, video, uh, I am video from uh, Dave2D, for example, you see this kind of tube LED light in the background, but you know, if you check the price of those, they are, they often have a pretty steep price. But what if I show you how to build one for yourself for something like 30 bucks? So before I begin the, the explanation, please take the time to subscribe to the channel, to like the video if you do. This project was done using a LED light from Amazon. It's made by Yi Light. It's a company owned by Xiaomi. So it's a very good product. I have a link in the description below about a review of this light I did when I first began this YouTube channel. So you can check that out. The Yi light is a smart LED light. It works on Wi-Fi. It's compatible with, with voice assistants. Pretty good product, good quality at a bargain price compared to other brands on the market. So check the video out. The LED tube is a, of a length of 2 meter, almost 7 feet. Now it's time to lower the ISO on the camera so we can really see the, the tube. To build a DIY LED tube like this, you need three things. You need an LED light. You also need a plastic tube. That is very easy to find in a hardware store. It is made to protect um, fluorescent uh, lights. So it costs about, I don't know, here I bought it for in Canada for eight bucks, I think in the US, I don't know, it's uh, six bucks or something like this. And the third thing that you need is parchment paper. I have a parchment paper from Costco, so you get a very uh, long roll. Why parchment paper is very uh, good for this kind of project? Because it's perfect to diffuse the light, but there's no risk of uh, a fire or burning the paper with, with the heat, even if it's LED light, it's not a lot of heat, but anyhow, parchment paper is made to go into the oven, so it's not a problem to use it with this kind of project. So you just need these three things to build this uh, LED light, a bit of imagination, a bit of work, At the end you get a very cool product that costs for me in my case 35 bucks Canadian it's like 25 US it's difficult to beat for that price compared to the 100 plus dollar that you need to to pay to have a, a official LED tube light and most of them cannot even do what this tube light can do with the app I can control the intensity, I can control some special effect like this, I can make it move to the music. Like I said earlier, it's only limited by the strip that you choose. And I want to show you another strip that I have at home. And I think it's even possible to do an even better tube light than the one I did using a LED light from Minger. Minger. Uh, I did my first video on YouTube on that, on, on that strip light. That strip light has multiple uh, music effects. There is an integrated microphone in the remote. You don't need an app. You don't need the. Uh, uh, you don't need your smartphone. And if I, if you build that tube light with this kind of LED strip, you could have like a a very cool music effect with that tube light. So in the end, I hope you like this little DIY project. If you like this type of video. 
please comment below, like the video, subscribe, it's Tech Dad, see you next time, ciao!